here we go. All right, so what I want to do today is talk to you a little bit about slant and horizontal asymptotes. So when talking about slant and horizontal asymptotes, you know, when we looked at the horizontal asymptote test, we determined that there's no horizontal asymptote when we have an exponent um, of our, our numerator, which is going to be larger than our exponent of our denominator. So that said we had no horizontal asymptote. So that makes us looking into what about our slant then? What's our oblique asymptote going to be? So to find that, I'm going to say stop and wait. Let's go and determine what our vertical asymptote is. Now remember, vertical asymptote is going to be our constraint on our graph that, uh, for our x values. What can our x values not be? And when we look at it, are we going to look at the constraints for our vertical asymptote? The only vertical asymptote that I can see or constraints on our x values would be when um, our denominator is equal to 0 for this function. So I need to take what you do is, remember if you a couple of the other problems that I worked on, all I do is I take whatever my denominator is and I set it equal to 0. So then I solve. Well, guess what? I've already solved for 0. That means whenever my value of x is equal to 0, the denominator is equal to 0, creating a vertical asymptote. So therefore, my vertical asymptote is going to be x equals 0. So when I want to write my domain, eh, we'll talk, eh, let's write it, eh, let's write it down. So therefore, my domain is going to be from negative infinity, comma, 0, union, 0, comma, infinity. So that means when writing it like that, I am not including 0 a part of my domain. Now to find the slant asymptote, all right? So I know that x equals 0 is my vertical asymptote. The slant asymptote, what we're going to do is, since we have this smaller degree, that means I can actually divide x to the first power into x squared plus 5. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say x to the first power divide into x squared plus 5. So x goes into x squared x times, x times x squared is x squared. Then subtract the rows, I get 5. x does not divide into 5, so therefore 5 is going to be my remainder. Now when looking to how to find the, the horizontal as or the slant asymptote, all we're going to look at, we're going to kind of disregard our remainder. But what we're going to use for our slant asymptote is just going to be um, our part of our divisor, which is just going to be x, so it's going to be graphing the line y equals x, is going to be our slant asymptote. We're going to disregard um, our remainder. And we're just going to graph our divisor as, say, we could say y equals our, um, our divisor, and that's going to be the line of our slant asymptote. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick little description of how to determine the vertical and slant asymptote. Thanks.